Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be doing an unboxing of uh, Inception uh, Mantle Lab Double Lenticular. Uh, this one is um, from Mantle Lab, and Inception is a Nolan film, and I recently saw Opp Oppenheimer, and uh, I think that one is a really good one as well. But Inception is probably my favorite movie from uh, Christopher Nolan. Um, and here is the full slip. I'll be doing the um, the double lenticular. I'm gonna keep the full slip sealed, but I'm gonna do a video on it as well. Uh, with the same content, they have the same steel books in it. So yeah, let's dive into this one. Um, uh, yeah. This film is just really good to me because um, I like the whole time element and also the whole dream thing. Um, we got like dream sequences and it's a dream on top of a dream on top of a dream. So it's a very nice concept in my opinion. That's why I think it's his best film like ever because it's just like a very interesting concept and it's just done very well. Uh, this is the lenticular, it looks very nice. Um, uh, the lenticular on the back uh, we get the um, yeah, the only reason I'm not opening opening this one is because of the back Um, the back is Okay, but it's not like I think the artwork could have been better for the back side But the front side looks really good as well. So yeah, um, let's dive in Okay, um, we back I got the knife. So yeah, um, let's dive into this one uh, Oppenheimer was a really good film as well because um, it was able to like keep you engaged uh, as a movie and this one has a lot of action in it so this is way more engaging than Oppenheimer but the best thing about Oppenheimer was the movie was just full of talking and full of like story elements but the way he like edited the movie and the way the editing was and the way the um, the cinematography and the way like um, everything was yeah, um, here is your Mantle Lab sticker. Uh, very nice maze. But yeah, Inception is better because the action, of course, the CG. This is a very famous scene where um, the dream is collapsing. Um, yeah, I really like this part. Um, yeah, and I really like this lenticular. Very um, nice done. The backside, again, it could be better. Of course, we got um, uh, Leo here, Leonardo DiCaprio's character, Cobb. And we got Tom Hardy's character. I forgot his name, but Joseph Gordon's uh, Joseph Gordon Levitt's character here, and uh, we also have um, Ellen Page here. But then now um, she has converted to Elliot Page. Elliot Page, and uh, here we got. Uh, I don't know those two actors, but again, a very famous movie. I've seen this movie so many times. This is one of the first Blu-rays um, that was very popular and a lot of people bought it. And yeah, um, this is very cool. I've seen the 4K as well. I've already seen the disc that is in here. Um, and I think the disc is is good looking. Of course, it's, it is a very nice looking but it isn't as good as looking as Oppenheimer because this is such a that's way more newer like movie but again dark knight looks better than inception because it has the imax shots this does not have any imax shots it's a very dark film as well so visually is not that good looking but like it is good looking but for a 4k disc there are better movies that there are better 4ks than this film that's what i was trying to get at but it is a very good 4k as well um, we got an HDR 10 4K. There's no Dolby um, Vision or anything because Nolan doesn't like that. Also, we got a 5.1 audio, uh, 5.1 audio on this uh, movie right here. Uh, Inception is this part is um, debossed, and uh, yeah, the rest of the steelbook is not debossed. And here's the spine, and here is the back. Um, the back is very cool as well. I really enjoy the back. You see my reflection in the back, but yeah, here is the back. Um, popping open, uh, we got the Blu-ray in the front. The same artwork as the um, uh, the full slip edition, and this is the um, the 4K disc. I've seen this 4K disc. I have the Amaray, but the Amaray is just a plastic case one. And uh, yeah, this 4K is good. But then again, there are better 4Ks if you want to demo your um, TV. Uh, but I enjoyed the 4K. The movie is fun as well. So 
I'm going to rewatch it again probably because I've just seen this movie so many times when I was a kid on TV and then I, you know, I saw it on Blu-ray as well on streaming like it's a Nolan classic. In terms of a concept, it's his best movie, but in terms of like visuals, it's very good as well. You see the background. Doctor Strange 2016 got a lot of inspiration from this film, to be honest with you, if you, if you ask me. And then I know this movie also has like inspiration from like a different movie. Uh, it's a Japanese movie. I don't know what it is. It's an anime. Um, let me know in the comments. I know this movie is inspired from an anime, uh, but... It's a very good, like, inspiration. I'm glad he did this film. Very um, suspenseful, very engaging as well. Um, yeah, let's go through the cards. So, we got George. Uh, yeah, they're different. Um, yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's matching on this edition right here. Yeah, we got matching cards this time, which is really cool. Um, yeah, usually the, the back all looks the same, but this one, it doesn't, which is a good, um, yeah, you see, like, it's supposed to be like that, but then it's, like, crazy, flipped over, and, yeah, this is really good. This is a poster. Um, these are all posters, the character posters. Here is um, Elliot Page, just character, Ellen Page. I think they still call her Ellen Page here, but now it's it's him. <laughs> We got Killian Murphy, Oppenheimer himself, and from uh, uh, Twin Peaks. And then we got um, uh, this character. Yeah, he's also an important character. I like the whole suitcase thing on an aircraft. And, the w and then they wake up. It's crazy. Um, uh, here we go. Here is the front, back, and spine for um, Inception. And let's see. Do they still, uh, okay, they still call her Ellen Page here. Um, it says Ellen Page because at the time of this film, uh, she was a woman. Now, she's not. So, yeah. Uh, let's dive in. Yeah, Leo is still doing, like, he's still, I think the only actor who's still, like, around is Leo. And he's still, like, very, um, like, consistent in his filmography. Um Tom Hardy is consistent too, uh, the because Tom Hardy is Venom, uh, and then he he did the um, Don't Look Up movie, and he also did um, at the recording Don't Look Up is one of his latest films, and uh, he did like a couple other films, but Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is really good too. Here is um, the character cards. Um, this is a crazy scene right here. Um, and then that's his wife. These back, the back side of these um, cards look the same. They all look the same. But if you're really Nolan, like you're a really hardcore Nolan fan like myself, and you just want like a bunch of movies together, I would suggest you get the collection. This is just a really collector like item that is very um, expensive than your standard release. Um, but yeah, this is not like... Like you, I wouldn't like open this that much because I am keeping one of them closed. But yeah, the, this is the Amore cover. Um, that's the cover they chose for the Amore. Um, here is some uh, of the characters. Here's some of the scenes. Again, not a sharp 4K. You see these pictures, they are 4K, but they are... Um, a little bit of softness to it, not a sharp 35 millimeter print. I've seen a sharper uh, 30, 35 millimeter print, and that would be Leon the Professional. That's a way better film um, in terms of like the picture quality, but in terms of an actual movie, this is way more like a superior film in terms of story. But yeah, um, yeah, really cool scenes, and. Um, my favorite scene is probably the one where um, Cobb's character is sitting with her and then um, there's like, uh, she tries to manipulate the dream and the dream like, you see the fruit baskets in the air and you see like, uh, like stuff like flying from the floor, Hope, yeah, her wife's name I think. And then um, she's the uh, agent. 
Yes, I like this movie more than Interstellar. Interstellar is okay. It's a very good movie, don't get me wrong. But the issue I have with Interstellar is the ending, it just totally becomes a sci-fi film. This is way more grounded to my liking. I like way more like grounded stuff the way like on Earth. Interstellar kind of becomes like um, the ending where he's in the black hole. It becomes very like fictional to me. Um, science fictional type to me. And that just takes away the reality. Uh, here is the, um, uh, the uh, what is it, spinning top and then the inception. And that is pretty much it. Let's look at the inside of the um, steelbook. Yeah, this is a very famous picture. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it for me in this video. Thanks for watching. I'll be back with more videos. And yeah, this one is really cool as well. Uh, yeah, peace, guys.